Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about a fantastic AI tool where you can give your own prompts and create charts and graphs in seconds. So it is a chat GPT for you to create chats, charts and graphs. So let us go on to today's video and explore that AI tool. So before that, we are going to conduct an online workshop on research paper writing using chat GPT and AI toolbox. The main objective of this workshop is to familiarize you all with a different AI tools which will be useful for research article preparation and also we are going to explore different chat GPT prompts uh, especially research related prompts which will be useful for you to make your research paper writing simple so don't forget to register our online workshop on research paper writing using chat GPT and AI tool so the link of the registration will be given in the description of this video see you on our workshop moving on to our today's video the AI tool what we are going to discuss today is that chart AI. So it is a chat GPT for charts and diagrams. So just to click on chart AI. So here you can see a dashboard like this here. So you can go on new chat. So it is a new conversation. So here you can see there are different templates available. State diagram. I can, I can click. So thereby you can get an idea. So it's an example for a state diagram. <coughs> Next you can see entity relationship diagram. Next to user journey. Next to requirement diagram. Next to this is a timeline. And also you can see Gantt chart. After that you can see a mind map. Uh, that is a mind map example. So after that commit flow diagram. So this is a flow diagram. Next you can see sequence uh, diagram. Next to see these are the different types of sequence diagrams. Our next one is flow chart. So it's a normal flow chart. <coughs> next one is a sequence diagram. Next one is a pie chart. So these are the templates which is available in this chart A. So we will go on and explore uh, one or two templates how it will generate a better flow chart for you. So for example as far as research is concerned we often use it to draw flow chart first. So here I am going to click on flow chart. So here show me this is an example for a flow chart. So you here you can uh, give uh, that is uh, give a give your prompt here or else click on new prompt. So here you can give a prompt. So generate a flow chart showing Showing the step by step procedure to write a research paper. So this is a generalized topic. This is not a technical topic. So let us see how it will generate that flowchart for us. So click on this. So it will take several seconds to generate a flowchart. Here you can see. Uh, it is generated so here here you will be app option called download so click on that option here you can see that the flow diagram is generated for us so choose a topic gather information outline write introduction write body write conclusion uh, revise and edit format paper write abstract and finalize paper so this is how it will generate a flow chart for us so you can you will be having a doubt that so how can you we use this kind of flowchart so here you can see so it is represented in horizontally so in order to make uh, that is as a vertical flowchart so as like we already do so we have to give a prompt so as i have said the prompt is very important as far as chat gpt is concerned so here i have asked to generate a flowchart showing the step by step procedure to write a research paper vertically so i have mentioned vertically so thereby it will generate the same flow chart vertically so choose paper gather information outline paper write introduction write body write conclusion revise and edit format paper finalize paper so after that you can click on here you can see a option called download so click on the option called download here you can see this uh, flowchart which has generated vertically is downloaded 
so here you can see choose topic gather information outline paper write introduction the same can be downloaded so you can cut using your snipping tools and you can use for your need so here you can cut and you can paste here paste in uh, any of your papers so like that you can make use of this option to generate flowchart in seconds so after that you go on to this uh, chart a so let us explore with some other diagrams for example i am going to explore this pie chart so here you can give a prompt regarding this pie chart so for example say i am going to ask that is uh, generate an pie chart for the use of renewable energy in power sector for the past 10 years so like that i am going to give an input prompt generate an pie chart for the use of renewable energy in the power sector for the past 10 years so and then click on that particular uh, topic so here yes here comes our uh, data so renewable energy use in power sector so our pie chart is generated so i, I am going to download this particular uh, pie chart generated by this AA. so download using this download option here so after downloaded so you can get a clear view of this particular pie chart we have downloaded so you can see that we have asked for past 10 years so here ea assumed that will be from 2011 to 2020 so it will be for, uh, showcased in different colors that is how our renewable energy usage is increased so here you can see how this will be increased the percentage wise it is categorized so thereby you can make use of this option by simply giving prompts and you can generate charts in second so you can use this picture for your research paper preparation or any present presentation also so if you are struggling to make a pictures for your presentation or if you are you struggling to make any charts and graphs for your presentation so don't worry but just by giving prompts you can get better graphs and charts easily so thereby you can make use of this option in this chat chart a so after that you can see there are other options like timeline diagrams so timeline diagrams also will be very important next commit flow diagrams this can be useful for our research paper writing also uh, apart from that you can have sequence diagram so here you can give any prompt regarding your sequence uh, that is make a sequence after that you can have a, sm a state diagram like that so after that you will be having new conversation so you can copy and paste any prompt you want so that will generate a particular picture relate that is a charts and graphs for you so this uh, chart a will be a better option for the academicians and researchers those who are struggling to make a better presentation uh, or struggling to make a better flow charts or charts uh, for your research paper so you can make use of this option in this chart a and make your uh, that is uh, you can have a time consuming process in this chart a so don't go for any tool or uh, anything so you have to go and uh, work on with this you can copy and paste the shapes so here you can have a better option to generate a uh, flow charts or any other diagrams very easily so you can make use of this option and make your uh, drawing very simple so hope this video will be very helpful for you so go on and explore this chart a so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you